Hello YouTube, this is going to be a review on the Afterglow Wireless Headset Universal Afterglow AGU.1S Headset. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. Not really sure. But it says on the box. Um, all I know is it's a really good headset and I recommend it to anybody. So let's review it. This is the headset itself. It glows up blue and it's a pretty big headset. It can adjust to your head. That's why you have this part and this is I guess for just to glow. And this is the part that adjusts. Um, it's like Beats, kind of bigger. I think maybe it's a little bit bigger than Beats or the same size. Um, it glows up blue on the side. The thing that is holding it is an Afterglow, I guess, station holder thing for it. I bought it off the Afterglow Gaming website. It is um, $19.99 for the stand, which is good because I like to, you know, show it off. And, you know, you, and people like to throw it on the floor or something. Get this or also get a carrying case. Which has amazing padding for the for the um, headset, so you don't drop it or it doesn't break, and you can put your um, wires and stuff that come with it in it, and you close it, zip it up, and you're good to go. All right, with this um, headset, what you get in the box? Let's see, you get you get two things, you get three things. You get the headset, you get the charger, obviously, I guess that's four things. You get this green cord, that's for the Xbox 360, when you hook it up to the controller. Then you get a gray cord, that is for all mobile devices, like iPhones, iPods, um, Androids, anything that you can play music out of. I don't know if anyone would rec like want to walk around with this. I mean, I mean, unless you want to show it off and think it's the best thing you can, but I have beats for that, so. But, um, yeah comes with this nice little box looks like it reminds me of the beats box you know when you get it and you have all the stuff it's it's a pretty nice box and you know it's a pretty strong box as well um if you look at the side of the headset pretty heavy too heavier than turtle beaches on the here you have the mute and the power off you hold it to tur turn it off and on and you just click it once to uh, mute it and unmute it Right here you have this mode switch where it turns to surround sound, boost, or just standard mode. And on the bottom you have the charger, and over here you have the Xbox 360 line and the line in for mobile devices. Let me let me show you what it looks like when you're switching through sounds. Blue is standard, and then when you click it once, you go to bass boost, that's red, and then green, that is surround sound, which gives you the most sound and better quality. And then you go back to blue, which is standard, which I think looks sweeter. Um, the mic is adjustable, so you can adjust it to however you want to get it next to your face. It's not that long, so I mean, like the Turtle Beaches, you have that really long head, like little headset boom thing. You put it to your mouth and you can talk, but it does pick up amazing without even having to pull the mic out. Um, you adjust your head, so people with, I guess, bigger heads, it can adjust your head. My brother. It has a little bit bigger of a head, so I mean, it can work for him, I'm pretty sure it can work for most people. Um, if you like this stand, which looks really nice in people's rooms, that you can hook up to the back of your Xbox, or an output or input of the wall or something, I would recommend it. It's $19.99 on the AfterglowGaming.com, and if you like to travel a lot, or play a lot, or go to people's houses and play games and go crazy, I recommend a travel case. Just like a Beats case, you put it in there, you put the wires in there, you zip it up, and you're ready to go. Um, pretty good headset. People that want to know how to hook it up, it's pretty easy. For Xbox 360, this is what I know for it. You get this USB that blows up blue. You hook it on the back or the front of the Xbox, and then you plug this, this wire up in the back of an AV color um, port of your TV. And then you can also, just like Turtle Beaches, you can also plug something behind it as well. It come, it, just, it reminds me just like Turtle Beaches, but better. You can um, charge this headset, has better quality sound, better range, and you don't have to buy extra batteries. So you're saving money, and it's worth your money, and doesn't cost nearly as much as Turtle Beaches. So if you're looking for a headset for Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, or just a gaming headset, or if you just want a mobile headset, I I guess recommend this. I mean, it's a pretty good headset for gaming. Mobile, eh, too big to put on your head and walk around with. People probably think you're like an alien or something, but 
it's a pretty good headset. I recommend anybody better than Turtle Beaches. It even says on the back of the box it's better than Turtle Beaches. Right here. Also on the side it actually shows that it can adjust the mic, quick controls, you can it's a strong headset, plug and play design, extreme comfort, and it comes with multiple lighting options. Blue, red, and green. That's for the surround sound boost and standard mode. <clears throat> for $99 or if you go on the website for $89.99, it's a pretty decent headset. Way better than any turtle features you're gonna get. And plus it says universal. So if you have multiple consoles and you want to switch back and off, off and on, sorry, you just use this headset for all all the consoles you got. And instead of Turtle Beaches, you have to buy like three three headsets because Xbox 360, Wii, and PlayStation, that's just a waste of money. But this is a pretty good headset. I recommend to anybody if you're getting one. It's, I think it's a pretty new headset. It just came out by the Afterglow Gaming. But yeah. Also, for if you'd like to show off your stuff, I recommend getting the Afterglow stand and the case. And the box reminds me of Beats Box, like I said, it's pretty strong. Yeah, it's a pretty nice headset. If you're looking for it, I recommend it. And if you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe, as it does help me a lot. So, thank you for watching, and yeah, see you in the next video.